the real reason Pluto isn't a planet anymore. Hi, I'm a dog. In 2006, some dudes we listened to called the IAU decided that Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. But what's their problem? Well, we discovered Pluto back in 1930. It became Planet 9. It's kind of small, but whatever. As our technology got better, we started discovering more objects near Pluto. Some were even of comparable size. This area would become known as the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is a donut-shaped region of icy objects beyond Neptune in the outer solar system. So it turns out Pluto is part of the Kuiper Belt. The breaking point, though, was in 2005 when we discovered Eris in the Kuiper Belt. It's more massive than Pluto. If Pluto is a planet, shouldn't Eris be too? And what about the other big Kuiper Belt objects? And what about the future ones that we will definitely discover in the future? That's when the IAU was like, okay, enough's enough. So Pluto is a lot more like these Kuiper Belt objects than the other eight planets in terms of size. So either we add a bunch more new planets, or we demote Pluto and make a new category for these objects. So the IAU decided to make a new category called Dwarf Planets, which currently have five members. They also decided on a three-point official criteria for what a planet is. One, it must orbit a star. Two, its gravity should make it at least pretty round. And three, it must clear the neighborhood around its orbit. Three just means that anything in its orbit must either get captured, aka becoming a moon, ejected away, or absorbed, which is where Pluto fails since its neighborhood, the Kuiper Belt, is still full of objects. So the definition of a dwarf planet is anything that passes criteria 1 and 2, but not 3. So yeah, that's basically it. Here's a quick summary. Leave a comment or something. I don't know. Bye.